So back on our project, remember, you have to, uh, uh, to, to follow what we have done. And right now I'm using the branch feature uh, async, as you can see here, uh, feature async processing, okay? Because uh, uh, we are um, on another level. If you are here new and you know all the stuff, just want to, to, to learn about Spring Batch integration, it's not a problem, okay? So the first thing that we have to do is to add the dependency for Spring Batch integration. So let's do that. As we can see here, we already have uh, the Spring Batch integration. And maybe the next thing that I'm going to do here is to add um, another dependency. Uh, we are going to use the Spring integration uh, file. Okay, so let's add the dependency. Oops. Org uh, Spring Framework that uh, integration and here what we are going to add is spring in uh, spring integration file okay I'm gonna explain to you later uh, why we need the spring integration file here yeah and the version let's just leave it like that because uh, Spring, Spring gonna gonna uh, solve it for us. Okay, now we have our dependency set up. We have the Spring batch integration already, and we have the Spring integration uh, file. Okay, now let's go. Let's move to our code. So first thing, uh, let's just create here uh, a new package. Let's just call it by integration. Uh, in this package is the place uh, where we are going to set up all our uh, like uh, spring batch integration components and configurations okay uh, in that order as we are processing sales info let's just write it like sales info integration config yeah so the first thing that we have to do, like always, it's a component, okay? And then we have to enable, okay, integration. And also uh, we have to enable the, the integration component scan, okay? Integration component scan. Yeah, that's good. That's that's good for for now. And let's just add here because I'm gonna uh, maybe need it uh, the Lombok, uh, the required arts con constructor because I like to inject um, I like to inject the dependency through uh, constructor injection, but using the the Lombok annotation. So uh, now let's start building our like um, our spring. Uh, integration flow. Let's start by uh, maybe uh, inbound channel adapter or something like that. Let's just see. Okay, back to our, uh, our code. Uh, the first thing that we are going to, to, to create is a file message. Yeah, file reading message source. Okay, so file reading message source what is file reading message source it's simple let's just go to documentation as i told you guys i'm your sensei i'm not your father okay but uh, let me file reading message source if we check the documentation file reading message source uh, that creates message from a file system directory okay so we are going to use the file reading message source just like to, to pull or to create okay message from a file system like a directory okay let's let's move back to our code it's gonna be clear um okay let's start like example var message uh, let's call it by message source is equal new uh, file reading message source um let's set up um, the directory okay so directory we don't want to uh, hard code the directory so in that order let's go to our application property 
and let's say like mm, uh, sales let's just create here available sales that info that directory directory so let's leave it like that for now okay and uh, then we are coming back for those who know uh, who knows uh, how to to like to use uh, the variable the property that we just declared we can just use it uh, here like private uh, string mm, sales directory and then we use the spring annotation value to fetch the property that we just created okay in our um this is the pro uh, the property that we just create in our application property and in, let's just put it like um directory so it's complaining because it's expecting the file so let's just create a file here like new file and set it voila nice so if we go back here okay we can see it's it, it, it keep telling us like um, some some constraint okay that we that you that you have to to keep in mind like um, sometime we, we start reading a file that is not main, uh, like it's not ready to be uh, read okay so in that order the file reading message source receives some here you, you just take a look to documentation because I'm um, your 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 sensei not your father but uh, in order to prevent this, okay, we are just going to process, example, just to explain, sometimes we are moving a large file from um, source, okay, from, from a, a, a source to a target, okay, example, from directory A to directory B. During this time, uh, when we are moving the file, Spring um, uh, integration file reading message source can start processing the file okay so it's not something that we that we that we want so in that order we are just processing we are going to use like a filter okay to process only files that are ready to be processed okay because if you have been working in a, like enterprise production you know that when you sometimes when you are moving a big file it's gonna have the the format like uh, the extension as a file part so let's just move back to our file reading message source and let's set the filter okay because we just want to feel we just want to to, to process uh, some specific files okay so in that order we are going to use the simple pattern file list filter okay and we are going to say okay we are just going to process um, everything that ends with uh, that csv okay because as you remember we are processing like pasqual store that csv it's a csv file okay so this is how we set up and then we can just return the file reading message source okay so this is the first step that we have to do to create um like to to to, to start using spring batch integration